So, we're back again with the AEA Harpoon. Today is something, it's a world's first. Nobody's done this yet. So, everybody by now is aware that if you screw your barrels out, it leaves you with a 12 gauge bore that you could put wads or what have you in there to shoot out like a shotgun. Well, by accident, I discovered that the other part of the barrel also screws out. Okay, so other people may have discovered that as well. I didn't realize that until it unthreaded with the other part of the barrel by mistake. So I got thinking and I teamed up with a guy that has a website, Fox2 Industries, link will be down below. And together, oh yes, we did it. This, my friends, will fit into that extremely large bore muzzle loaded there. Uh, this measures over an inch. So we had 72 cal before, more or less, with the uh, waddings, but now we're into a whole new level here. This is over an inch. These he makes are made to explode. When you pull the trigger, these things will disintegrate, sending your shot everywhere. So we're gonna fill this up with some nasty stuff today and we're gonna try a few things and see what can we do with it. So these are simple. You grab the end and you pull the cap off. Stick whatever shot you want inside these. Push the cap back on, put it in your gun, it's ready to go. Uh, our first shot, we're gonna load up with some lead balls. I don't have a scale yet, so I can't get you a grain weight, but we're just going to load a whole bunch in here. <laughs> How's that for a shot load? That's probably, oh boy, three ounces or better, I'd say. Cap that off, set it to the side. We're going to take another one. We're going to take some number nine bird shot. Um, other tests, I haven't got any penetration. These are too light. They're not carrying much energy. So I don't foresee them doing much. But how's that for a load? That's got to be four ounces. Cap that one off. And we got one, I couldn't make it fit, but heck with it. We're gonna shoot it anyway. I got a spark plug. I was hoping it fit down in there. I even put a hole in the end. It's just a little bit too long. But I'm gonna shove it down the barrel and we're gonna shoot it anyway. And then the last shot we'll be taking today, I'm gonna to call it the uh, kitchen sink. So I got a bolt, I got a nut, I got some washers washers, got a cap nut, a regular nut, three lock washers. Stick all of those in there, cap it off, and I, uh, yikes, that's nasty. I got some soft targets set up there, an apple, some bottles of water, a piece of plywood in the back. Now, if you guys haven't seen these in my other video, this is all you do to load these. This is the bird shot round. We'll start with it. Like so. And that thing is ready to fire. We'll get it cocked. Put our cartridge in. And it's ready to shoot. Uh, there's some bird shot stuck in the apple. Nothing very cool, nothing very interesting. Okay, next shot we'll be taking is actually the uh, the kitchen sink load, we'll call that. It's loaded up. And... Where'd they go? I have no idea where those went. I think they just completely scattered. I missed the target altogether. We're going to count that as a, as a loss. Oh well. On to the spark plug. Okay, I got the spark plug load in. I'm kind of scared about this one. 
but let's see what happens. Well, it shot. Missed the other targets. We hit a little high, and then went clear through the piece of plywood. <laughs> so, effective, yes. In a situation, maybe you don't have no ammo. You got some old spark plugs laying around. There you go. Just looking around here where we were shooting today, you can see the high-vis green pieces of plastic. Some shells are doing exactly what they intended to do. As soon as they come out the end of the barrel, they just explode into pieces and let your load continue on. Okay, I'm going to switch it up. The last one we're going to do today is actually going to be a hybrid. I got a 12 gauge wad inside this, but what we're going to do is put our uh, round balls in the wad and I'm going to put bird shot around the outside of this. So there you can see it, bird shot around the outside. I got the round balls in the center wadding. All right, hopefully we can get something to happen here. Let's take a look at these targets. Yeah, locked and loaded. And still, could not destroy those. Um, not sure what's going on. We're going to keep working on them. Let's see if we can improve them a little bit. But for now, the possibilities are endless. With a, a shell over an inch big. I mean, what you can stick in a bore that big, anything imaginable, you can load into that and shoot out. Not going to be very accurate. The spread's going to be crazy, but I'm sure it'll uh, get the job done. These stupid targets. Let's take a look at all those. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you guys go over and check out Fox 2 Industries. Like I said, the link will be down below. See you next time.